I'm Scott L. Miller, and this is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today, I'm out for a walk foolishly at the end of the day with a storm rolling in, but I wanted to get out and get some progress on the new bus station. So I'm going out for a walk regardless and doing some investigation and hoping that the rain holds off. However, I'm coming through Sutiava and there was a vehicle fire here earlier today and the whole area has a whole bunch of smoke going on, which is a little bit interesting that it hasn't dissipated yet, but we're heading to the bus station to see, well, the bus station and new market to replacing Marcadito. So let's go see how that's going. About a month ago, we did a walk up to the announced location for the new Marcadito replacement and new bus terminal here on the west side of Leon in the Barrio Sutiava. Well, we're heading back today because we have been seeing truck after truck after truck heading down here with landfill material and building supplies. So we're hoping we're gonna find some interesting construction going on. This is a, a big deal out here. And we're, I can see the road I'm walking on is in very rough repair, which it was not before. This is the work of very heavy trucks that have been coming through here. They need to do a lot of work once this is done with construction. They got to get this road fixed up here. I'm going to show it some. Look how rough. And this road was never great, right? But this is way, way worse than it was before. My guess is that the new bus terminal is going to revitalize this area completely it's going to be it's going to be a whole new animal out here with the market big market new in a different style one of the modern ones with a bus terminal around it it's going to be super cool and all these little houses out here they're going to be in the midst of things instead of being on a practically abandoned back road this is sixth street but it's mostly horse and dog and bicycle traffic, the road's in terrible repair. It's often covered in trash, not now because of the construction, but it has been. Having fires out here was common. So cars didn't like to come down, taxis would do it, but it was always like, do you mind if we take six? And they'd work their way down, bounce it along. All right, we're getting pretty close to the bus, new bus terminal now. Hope you can see these clouds. We've got, uh, we've got a storm a coming. Oh, here's a taxi working their way through right now. Fools. <laughs> if you're coming from Guadalupe, this is the way to go. And if you're trying to bypass the fire in Sutiava, this is the way to go. Oh, there's a wall up and construction going on. Oh, there's definitely a lot. All right, we're gonna turn the camera around and uh, let you guys see what's going on. If you remember the last time that we came up here, we had an empty trash field. So if you look at my older videos where we came through here, this was a literal open dumpster fire. And it was full of dogs and horses picking through the trash that was often smoking. It was, it was pretty bad. Then the last time we were here, not long ago, we will link this in the show notes. I'll put a little card in so you can get to the video and all. But it was nothing but a cleared field area where they were just starting construction. It was nothing but some cornerstones and a little sign that said what was coming. None of this was here. There was not this wall. There wasn't that electrical you can see run. None of these construction vehicles, definitely no people. I've not seen this yet, so this is me discovering it with you. Check this out. I don't really think we can go in. This is the construction entrance, but I will put the camera up and get the best shots that we can. But look at that, look at how much raised ground. Look how far back they've gone. We've got the guys out there leveling, we'll let you see. All right, this is, this is super exciting. There is a lot of work going on. This is gonna be very large. We're gonna show the sign here in just a minute. I'm glad that they kept some of those giant trees in the back because they're, they're iconic and really can't replace those, but they really need a lot of space. I mean, they're putting in a bus terminal and an entire market. This is gonna be, this is gonna be really something like, you have to understand they're taking one of the poorest parts of the city in the poorest barrio and turning into, hopefully you can see the sign here. These are the 
engineering proposals. We've shown this before, but this is gonna be something really dramatic here. And just a reminder, that is Cerro de Oro that you can see down there at the end of the road. We're gonna have this giant space with market and bus and all kinds of stuff. It is going to change Sutiava completely. It's gonna be a hub of activity over here. And it's right next to the airport, so we're, we're hopeful that that means good things for the airport. That's, it, it seems like they have to upgrade this road. Now this part is mostly just dirt. You can see like there's a terrible ditch right in front of me. It's fine for walking, but if the buses go over this every day. That's not great. It's towards the end of the day. There's a lot of people out here working. What's amazing is just how fast projects like this happen here. Like this is really moving along. It has not been that long since we did the episode showing them announcing this. And literally that was the first day. They had announced it the day before and we came over to show the work being done. This is where the kind of barrier starts. So that right there, that is the airport right in front of us. And uh, hola. So this is all very exciting. They got a wall around a lot of this. We can't really see much. You can see the construction huts and such. So not, uh, not crazy exciting at this point, but the level of progress that we were able to come out so soon and get shots of it is pretty cool. So I'm very excited. This is, this is great stuff for the Sutiava neighborhood. And once this is here, really hoping that there's gonna be direct transit over to the buses on the other side of the city or that the city buses will come over here. That's, that seems impossible, but not the, the intra-city, intercity buses, the interlocales. It'd be great if a few of them came over here, if we had direct UCA buses heading out to Managua or something like that, even to Chinandega, that would be amazing. But that doesn't seem likely at all. But if these buses ran directly to the other terminals on the other side of the city, that would really be something. One of the things that's interesting is even though this is a very, very quiet neighborhood, there is a lot of pedestrian traffic out here all the time, which is just part of Nicaragua. These out of the way places that seem so remote, they're full of little houses sprinkled back in the trees. There's always people on foot and on bicycles and of course the occasional car and such, but oh, we have a puppy over here ready to bark at us from the fence. There's always a bit of life everywhere you go. Well, we've managed to at least get this far without running into the storm. You can see the clouds up there. It is humid. It's not that hot. But I've been walking pretty hard to get out here. I wanted to get here before the storm hit, before it got dark, and get that view for you. So, sorry there isn't more to see, but I think that's a... I want to be able to show this every month or so as it progresses because it's going to be pretty exciting. So, in other news... Uh, I've been working really hard on keeping the show up to date, and I think we're doing really well. It's been good. And uh, the exciting thing is finally working through some of my backlog of videos. For one thing, if you guys have been seeing the Florida and Mazatlan episodes, those were filmed back in March, and we're finally getting those out, trying to sprinkle them in along with our up-to-date Nicaragua content. But really cool is that uh, we have not yet as of the moment that I'm recording this, so this is gonna jinx myself, but Dominic and I are currently planning on heading to a far off exotic South American location and doing some filming for a little while. Uh, not very long, but you know, a week or two. And uh, hope to be bringing you guys a little bit of news about that as, as we get ready. I have been working on, uh, working on getting the videos really, really, really up to date so that we're able to disappear for a little bit and do a bunch of recording, uh, but not have to edit and upload while we are gone, or that will just be, that will be misery. I wanna be able to focus on being on our trip and, uh, and focus on getting you guys lots of, lots of barrio walks and lots of exciting stuff, and then, 
and then be able to edit when we get back. Because if I'm editing while we're there, uh, I'm only going to get a fraction of the time to film and see the location. But if we're able to uh, do it all when we get back, it'll be great. We'll be able to uh, spend all the time recording. Unfortunately, we have not yet been able to make it up to the United States. And flights have gotten a lot harder to get from this region. Or a lot more expensive, at least. We're still easy if you need to. Uh, because Spirit has pulled out. And so, we are... We are not going as soon as we thought. We really aren't sure when we're going to make it. We don't know if we're taking the kids. We're not sure what we're going to do, but we got to go up and renew our licenses. <sighs> that just has to be done at some point. Maybe it's going to end up waiting till Christmas. I just don't know. It is hard to fit everything in. There is so much that needs to be done. So much, so much traveling and just life is busy. So who knows? Who knows? But the sad part is that the new DJI Pocket 3 that I'd really like to take to South America with me is not yet in my hands. So that's not great. And the, but the upside, the upside at this point is we are not going to be up there for sure. I think, I don't, I don't think there's any way. Uh, prior to the release of the GoPro 13, and given how much I've been using the GoPro, this year, it seems incredibly unlikely that I'm not going to be picking up the 13 just to add it to the arsenal for the year. And if I'm going to get one, there's no reason to wait. This is where 6th Street comes into the Ponaloya Road. I know I show this a lot on the show, but just in case you didn't know where we were, that's where we are. This is the very western extent of 6th. It comes in at an, at an angle. That is the road heading towards Leon right there. Cars coming from Leon. That white car would have just been in Leon. We've got this little triangle park here. It could use some updating, I'll admit. And uh, then this is the road heading out towards Ponaloya and Las Benitas. So if I'm gonna get the GoPro 13, it works out best to get it close to when it releases rather than waiting a long time for it because you just get more mileage out of it that way and uh, I always have to grab them whenever I'm there can't take the time to to wait and see when the next time will be because it's so infrequent that we managed to go to the states and it's so unpredictable so generally Mid to late September is the GoPro release date. It's been like clockwork for a really long time. So uh, I've got it on my calendar. I know I'll be getting the new one. I get as a member of the GoPro Pro subscription, whatever it is, I, uh, I get one heavily discounted camera per year. So always take advantage of that. If I don't, it really, really doesn't make financial sense to skip it. Now we were talking about all the construction and things moving fast. I'm going to move to the other side of the road here. Once traffic lets me, oh, it's letting me right now. I'm going to show you. So right there is the, the hut where our tortilla lady works. They actually added a little thing in the corner that was not there the last time we filmed there, which was just like a week or two ago. And as we walk this way, you're going to notice that this little lot here, little, it's actually quite large, that was for sale on the video many, many, many times, has sold, and they are rapidly putting up a wall. And this is sad because this little spot has a great view of the volcano, so as you drive by, it's always been really nice. And uh, now it's going to be something with a wall, so this view is going to go away. You can see all these guys working. And it's, uh, I'm going to check the time, about 4.30 in the afternoon. So it's not super late, but a lot of people out working here. And though that rebar there is for the beginning of a new wall. You, can, you can't really see it right now because of the clouds, but the volcanoes are out there. And that view is going to go away. And there's this new drainage here going in, presumably for the building. And that is directly against La Purissima, 
This is the Purity of Mary Catholic School. Very popular landmark in the area. Beautiful grounds. This is the high school, but not the, not the campus <laughs> that, uh, that Marcella went to. She went to the Managua campus. And this is the Leon one. I'll show the sign here. We're just coming past the entrance to Heroes and Martyrs of Veracruz. We're there on the left. Here's the sign for the school. The plan is Marcelo wants to do a bit of uh, investigation of schools in the area and do it on the show. So hopefully we'll get to see some of these places, film some, get some information for you guys. I know people always have questions. What do they cost? What do they like? What do they offer? Look at that beautiful building, beautiful grounds. My high school definitely didn't look anything like that. It's very, very nice. All right, guys. Just cutting in a little bit sweaty here. I've been out walking, but as I was walking down the street, a car came by and uh, the driver yelled out. He's like, hey, watch your show. So they pulled over and we hung out for the last half hour just talking. So shout out to Ethan and Destiny. I sure hope I got that right. Pretty sure I did. Uh, who saw me on the Ponaloya Road and uh, we got to hang out a little bit. They watched the show and are here visiting Nicaragua. They just got in, I think, two days ago. They were just in Ponaloya today and uh, enjoying it here. They spent time in Central America previously. They've been to uh, El Salvador, Guatemala, some of those countries and are just vacationing and checking it out for two weeks, heading up to Esteli tomorrow. But uh, very cool to get to meet them. Always awesome when I get to see you guys in real life. And they're like, what a random place to see you out on the street, which is if you watch my show, random places on the street is kind of my thing. So if you're ever going to see me somewhere, the chances that you're going to see me in like El Sisteo in downtown Leon, unlikely. But the chances that you're going to see me on a completely random back road in the middle of nowhere, still unlikely, but way more likely because I put in easily nine, ten times as much time in the random out of the way locations, not always the same one, but all kinds of different ones than I do in touristy places. So if you're ever looking for me, that's not the spots. But random back roads, you're taking your chances. You never know. You'll be surprised if you see the bearded gringo walking all through the middle of nowhere. But uh, they were saying how they they were really amazed by how safe it feels and just how welcoming it is. And they were concerned because they had looked at the State Department and had a Category 3 warning. And they're like, that's crazy. You get down here. This is so safe. They actually felt that it felt safer definitely than the U.S. or Canada, but like safer than El Salvador, which I don't think is actually true. I think El Salvador does have us. Uh, right now, but uh, it is, it's just crazy safe. And uh, they've been having a really good time and they're excited about going and hitting all the touristy stuff. After this, they're just hanging out in Leon right now. So back to the show. So there's just people everywhere out for walks, relaxing. I'm recording this on a Monday evening or afternoon, I guess. City bus coming in. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. And as always, I will see all of you tomorrow.